Well, in a case that highlights the dangers of social media, a retail worker who criticised his boss on Facebook has lost his fight for unfair dismissal. Damien O'Keefe claimed his rant took place in his own home, but in reality, sites like Facebook and Twitter have blurred the line between work and pleasure. Eddie Meyer looks at the social revolution that could come back to bite you. More and more today, our lives are lived in public, online. It's pretty important that if, if you know you don't have Facebook or you've deleted it, people kind of forget you exist. Everything we do, we share, but should we? There's girls with cigarettes and drinking, and I look at that and I just think, what happened if a teacher saw that? Or your headmaster or even your parents? Facebook is like a tattoo. When you're using Facebook, you are printing a digital resume. Sharon Williams advises companies and individuals about their brand, importantly, how to protect it. Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and YouTube present a digital history, she says, that can now follow people for life. The sort of cases that we've lo looked at have been absolutely shocking. And I think... I am deeply surprised at what is written online. It's instantaneous, it's incredibly far-reaching and often can be dragged up every six months if it needs to be because it's almost a permanent record. And increasingly employers are checking the public sites of the people they employ or plan to employ. So for me Facebook is the new reference check. It is a way that you can marry up their online life with what they are telling you in their CVs and their uh, application. So yes, we and I think all law firms and most corporates would. The implications can be devastating. Just last year, swimmer Stephanie Rice lost a major corporate sponsor because of comments she made on Twitter and three KFC employees were sacked when they posted photos of themselves bathing in the food outlet sinks. Even this week, Fair Work Australia upheld the right of a large retailer to sack an employee who posted a rant against a manager on his Facebook site at home after hours. Even though a handful of fellow employees saw it, the tribunal said that didn't matter because the separation between home and work is now less pronounced than it ever was. You've got 600. <laughs> but you can't know that many people. You can. Mm -hmm. Two. You do. Yeah. Sharon Williams teaches her teenagers important lessons about social media, lessons she warns every parent should also pass on. Imagine if you were, um, when you're in front of your computer and you're typing onto Facebook or you're loading something onto YouTube or you're loading your photo, is to imagine you've got sitting here your future employer, the, the job of your dreams, the boy of your dreams and his mother, your father, your grandfather um, and, and your headmaster. Now type, now act, and now do what you were going to, but with more thought of the implications of what would happen if they read what you're writing. But companies and their leaders can also get caught out. Now leaders have got to be completely aware of it because it can affect share price in seconds. And legal consequences can follow criminal charges, infringement of copyright and defamation. It is not a different world without consequences. The same laws apply. You must act in the online and social media space as you would in real life, person to person.